Welcome to another episode of JW Broadcasting. Friends, today I'm incensed. You think Mike and Kim were incensed because of a few toneless texts from John Cedars, Lloyd? Because <laughs> you know what they're going to do. They're going to they're gonna kiss and make up, they're going to hug, they're probably going to make a video of them hugging and forgiving each other for a misunderstanding, like apostates didn't even know how to forgive each other. Please, please. But that's not what's got me so upset. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jehovah's Witnesses apostates act like they're outraged about things. But let me just make this clear to you, apostates. Okay? I hope you're listening. Jehovah's Witnesses can out outrage you any day of the week. Hands down. So, this is not a game that you guys want to be playing. Alright? What's got me so upset, though, is there's these rumors. There's rumors going around the interwebs, the cyber space whatever the kids are calling it. We're gonna reshoot this, right? We're gonna shoot, put that in? Okay. Now, some are saying that my videos are not to be taken seriously. And some are commenting in the comment section below that I am not sincere. Now, rather than take offense at this, because I'm assuming I'm assuming that they mean well, and I am a mature Christian, so I don't take offense easily. Um, that would mean that my bosom was stupid, or that I was taking it into my a stupid, you know the proverb, I'm not offended what I'm saying. I'm just upset because, because uh, I feel like... I need to make this clear. My videos, the purpose of my videos, okay, is to magnify Jehovah's glorious name and to vindicate his illustrious people and all of their benevolent activities all over this globe. And, you know, if... If it's not coming across that way, or if people are trying to misinterpret me, you know. But let me just say this. If any of you continue to presume to know my motives, or you would imply that I'm insincere, well, you know what? I'm just going to have to take that up with God. Because... When you talk against God's spokespeople, when you talk against an individual that is endeavoring to speak for God, then <clears throat> you know, it, it sounds harsh, but basically you're attacking God. So I just think that you should know that, okay? I mean, attack me, attack Jehovah. Attack the governing body, attack Jehovah. You know... Make me sad, Jehovah sad. Me sad, Jehovah sad. And I think that I think that's pretty clear now, right? I mean, governing body sad, Jehovah sad. And according to the the, the pages of the Bible, you wouldn't like Jehovah when he's sad. Let me just make that clear, okay? So, also some of the commenters below, you know, I don't know why, but social media commenters just... Because my last video, I did mention that I was giving scriptural counsel. And yet, many are noticing and commenting that I never opened up the Bible. To that... To those commenters, I say this. Now, first of all, I'm assuming that they mean well. 
I'm assuming that they're not just trying to get underneath my skin. However, I must restate that while it is true that I did not open the Bible, not even one time, the counsel was derived from the literature. I'm not sure how much clearer I can make this. The literature is from God's one channel. So if it's from the literature, it's basically from Jehovah. Okay? I hope that's clear. Do you not believe? Wait, because maybe this is the larger question here. Hold on a second. Do you? Hmm. Do you not believe that the literature is from God's one channel, the governing body? It's a simple yes or no question. Do you believe it or do you not? Because that's really what it all comes down to. Nevertheless, I want all my viewers to be reassured. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Bible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it. Because I want you all to know that what I'm saying, well, okay. I, I want you all to feel that what I'm saying is scriptural. So if I hold it in this hand, and then maybe as I'm talking, I will gesture and then maybe switch hands. And if I keep doing that, I think it will reassure you that what I'm saying really is from the Bible. I might even tease. It might like sort of open a little bit and like, you know, suggest. Because I just want, you, I just want to help you guys. Especially, especially your apostates, to come back to Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm expecting to get some comments about this video, too. Uh, you know, he held the Bible, but he never actually opened the Bible. Okay. But the important thing, again, is that you feel that what I'm saying is scriptural. That's why I'm holding this Bible. The counsel that I'm reading to you is from the literature. So, it, it, I think it makes it much easier for them to submit to my authority if I hold the Bible, right guys? Yeah. So, I mean, we're, let's reshoot that part because I think, I think I could have rephrased it a little bit. Yeah. Because, like, because I, because I could have said it makes it easier for you to submit to the governing body's authority or to the loving Overseer's authority. Yeah, so let's rewind that. What? You can't rewind a digital? Are you serious? This is going to go out like this. 